You know, I really like playing with you. Of course you really like playing with me. That's because you know you can beat me. Oh, come on. What's your handicap? My leg. <laughs> Why you always throw the bad leg up in my face? Oh, I got shot in the war, and they had to put six screws in my hip, and one is shorter than the other. Just give me my two dollars. <laughs> you would think you'd feel bad taking money from an old man with a cane. You think I would, but I don't. <clears throat> well, at least I broke 90. Unfortunately, I was on the eighth hole at the time. <laughs> That's a joke, son. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'm just glad I didn't break my hip. <laughs> That's not a joke. Oh. Don't worry, I'll get my money back when we play on Saturday. Oh, no, not this Saturday. Why not? It's my anniversary. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you got planned? Oh, she's going to love this. It's my 15th. This year, I'm going to surprise Jay. Because I've tried in the past, but she got the kids, you know, to spy on me, and then they ruin it. That's because she got them under her control. You know, she controls the snacks and stuff. And like a mama, that's how a mama used to work her. Huh? Pull out some little candy from the bra, a piece of cupcake, you know. <laughs> <laughs> With a lit candle in it. <laughs> That's not a very warm greeting for an old friend who comes bearing gifts. What, you got a big screen TV hidden in your back pocket? No, but thank you for suggesting one could fit this. <laughs> but what I do have is your front row ticket to the brown mound of sound. No, not... Mr. Brian McKnight. Suzanne are all coming. Oh. We're going to have drinks, appetizers, and then the main course, filet of Brian. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Girl, I can't go. What do you mean you can't go? Saturday is our 15th wedding anniversary, Wanda. Celebrate on Sunday. Sunday is not our wedding anniversary. I don't know why you keep celebrating a shotgun wedding anyway. Okay, maybe it wasn't the wedding of my dreams, but at least it was with the man of my dreams. <laughs> oh, you actually think it's gonna make a difference to Baldy Locks whether you celebrate it on Saturday or Sunday? Of course it will. Our anniversary is very important to Michael, and I think he has something special planned. <laughs> oh, what makes you think that? Because my baby is romantic. Let me tell you what he did five years ago. He got us the penthouse suite at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. The room was candlelit, Don Perignon on ice, and rose petals all over the bed. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Michael is sweet and sensitive and loves his woman. I mean, the man can't even walk into a room without giving me a big, wet, cheesy kiss. Here he comes. Hey, baby. What's up? with me, peanut head. Why can't you two just get along for once? You know what? Jay, you're right. We do this every time we see each other, Wanda. Can't we just, like, be friends? Really? No. <laughs> oh, oh, before I forget, Jay, don't make any plans Saturday. Oh, you have something planned? Yeah, I'm golfing with Johnny. So I need you to be here because Saturday night, it's on. It is, baby? Yeah, the cable's gonna finally be on. And I need you here to let the satellite dish guy in, okay? <laughs> satellite TV on your anniversary. That's so romantic. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because I know he is a clever man. See, I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to make me think that he's forgotten. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to play along. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I hate men. Well, don't go eating every time a man breaks your heart. That's what happened to me. See this little pocket of jiggly right here? Stephen Johnson, 89. <laughs> See these saddlebags right here? That's Eugene Clark, 95. <laughs> See these? Well, my mama gave me those. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That girl too skinny. I couldn't even make a decent broth out of her. 
Now you sure you won't reconsider? Mm -hmm. I love Brian, but I love Michael more. No. Well, the way I see it, you're gonna be stuck in this marriage forever. But Brian is only in town for one midnight. <laughs> and if you actually think Lou Gossett has remembered your efforts, <laughs> he hasn't forgotten Wanda. God, I hope he hasn't forgotten. It's been another intense day of record-setting heat with intense rainfall and, and tornadoes which have swept through this country club, leaving these greens as bumpy as the back of Michael Clark Duncan's head. <laughs> and it's come down to the two most handsome men in the PGA, <laughs> Michael Kyle and Tiger Woods. And if I was a betting man, I wouldn't put my money on the big tooth fella. <laughs> Here it is, the final putt for the million dollar Masters Championship and that god awful green jacket. Okay, baby, get on in there and talk to your father. Come on, Mom. You know I end up getting in trouble. Do I have to remind you that I gave you life? Yeah, but he can take it away from me. <sighs> hey, Dad. What are you up to? Nothing. I just gave away my master's jacket. That's what I'm up to. By the way, what are your plans for the weekend? I'm going to Nanya. Where's that? Nanya business. <laughs> well, what's your plans? Well, I don't have any. Good. You know what? Let me make you some plans. I tell you what, you can plan on washing my car and cleaning the gutters this Saturday. Uh, Dad, I, I just remembered. I have to go read to some orphans. Too late. <laughs> What did he say? He's playing golf, and I'm washing his car. Thanks a lot, Mom. Never send a boy to do a woman's job. Babe, are you gonna be on that computer all night? Are you gonna come to bed with me? I'll give you a thrill in the pillow. Mm. A little rumble in the jungle. Heat between the sheets. Oh, man. Babe, what's going on here? You ain't crashed the car again, did you? No, babe. Can a girl show her beloved husband how much she appreciates him? Sure. Mm. Oh, that feels good. Mm, like that? Mm-hmm. It's reflexology. I'm stimulating your chakras. Oh. This right here is your throat chakra. Mm, this like right that. here is your heart chakra. Mm -hmm. And this right here... Uh-oh, that's the chakra Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Don't make me laugh after all these years. No, oh, babe, sometimes it just feels like yesterday we got together, don't it? It sure you? does. Mm. Mash that bunion down for me. <laughs> hey, I made some of your favorite foods. Whoa, what do we have here? Mm. Hot wings, hot tater tots, hot damn. And peach cobbler for dessert. Peach cobbler. Baby, what did I do to deserve all of this? Nothing. You just be my baby, that's all. Just be your baby. Your baby want to nurse afterward. <laughs> Girl, you sure know how to spoil your man. Mm -hmm. First, you make my chakra con. <laughs> chakra con, chakra con. <laughs> And then all of this. Wait a minute. Wait just a doggone minute. I know why you're being so nice to me. What are you talking I'm always nice, Michael. No, you are so obvious. You are, you don't have to go through all this to get me to remember, baby. Oh, my God. Yes. When I say I'm going to mow the lawn, I'm going to mow the lawn. Mom, Dad, Claire's driving me crazy, and I can't take it anymore. What's wrong now, Junior? She broke up with her boyfriend, Tony. Oh, thank you. Lord. But now she's playing the same sad love song over and over again. I can't concentrate on my homework. Oh, you gotta concentrate to bring home two D's and an F. What about the two C's, huh? See, he never remembers the good stuff. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's go talk to Claire. We need to go talk to Claire. We? Baby, I thought that this was one of those mother-daughter estrogenic type moments, you know? No, I think a male point of view might help. Come on. All right, baby, I'm coming. Let's just hurry this up. And Junior, you touch my chicken, I'm gonna bend your arm up like one of them wings. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, we just heard about your breakup. Where did you hear it? On ClaireCan'tKeepAMan.com? Never walk out of this room again. You keep eating all these goodies, you're not gonna be able to fit out the door. <laughs> hey, you gotta watch your sugar intake. You're already genetically predisposed to being a little thick. That wasn't even necessary. <laughs> Baby, I'm just being honest. Do I run around the house telling Julia that he's genetically predisposed to looking like a brown egg? <laughs> Hello? Guys, this is about me, remember? Oh, oh right, yeah. She's right. <laughs> okay, talk to us. Tell us what happened. No. Okay. All right, I'll be downstairs with my chicken when you want to open up, okay? Great effort, Dad. You're a regular Bill Cosby. Well, wait, you tell me if I can't be a pudding pot. Shut up. I'm, I mean, I'm really trying to express how I feel. Okay, I'm sorry. What happened, honey? Tony is cheating on me. I knew it. I could tell by his little beady eyes. Erica was at the one basketball game that I missed. She said there was a beautiful girl there cheering every time Tony made a basket. Say what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. That means he was cheating. Well, isn't it obvious? The one game that my baby girl doesn't go to, and that little rat-eyed boy is looking for someone else? No, the, Stop. the baby, that's what rats do. They start to scurry, they look around to see what they can get their little hands on, and then they get trapped by Bill Cosby. And they start to run and try to get on the wheel, and the boom and the pinky boom and the wheel smash, and the rat will say, hey, little rat fella, I got a sweater that looks like you. And get this, at the end of the game, Erica asked her why she was cheering for him, and she said because Tony was her sweetie pie. Mm, mm, mm. Guilty as charged. Did you talk to Tony about this? Did you give him a chance to explain? No, I told him it was over and I hung up. Good for you. Here's five M&Ms for the courage. You know what? You're really, really not helping. Baby, you have got to communicate with Tony. That is the secret to any good relationship. How do you think your father and I have held in there for so long? Unplanned pregnancies? Uh, you said you wanted the male point of view. I'm giving you the male point of view. Go point your view back at the television. Bye-bye, my boy. Bye-bye. Okay. And, and y'all really didn't like the Cosby? Bye, my Claire, honey, you cannot run around angry at somebody and they don't even know why. That's childish. Relationships are built on honesty and trust. Okay, Mom. Okay. Now I need you to do me a favor. Go downstairs and spy on your father for me. <laughs> There's a picnic in every fresh bite of Wendy's new Friscata sandwiches. Try the... Wanda, I'm telling you, he's gonna come through. I have faith in Michael. Yeah. Look, if you want to give the ticket away, just give it away, okay? <sighs> oh, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Where you going so fast? I gotta go to the bathroom. What you got in your hand? I tell you, I gotta go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> I told you Michael was gonna come through. I just caught a glimpse of man's hand. Yes. No, he ran upstairs so he could hide it, so he could surprise me. I'll call you back after I find him. Bye. Up here. Uh, just 
relaxing. You sure look cute when you relax. <laughs> But I thought you was relaxing. No, I got tired of relaxing. Well, if you're gonna do it, you gotta go all, oh. all the way down. Now that's a picture. Yeah. It's hard too. I know. Yeah. Twelve. All right. He Did you fall? I heard a noise. Oh, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm you fine. You positive? Yes. Okay, could you go make me a sandwich, please, baby? I'm starving. Okay, Michael. Just leave that for later. <laughs> hey, babe. Yes? I forgot to give you something. You did, Michael? Mm-hmm. You did. Okay, you gotta close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna give you? No. Do you have any idea? I'm not a clue. Okay, I'm gonna give you <laughs> some sugar. <laughs> sugar. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Now's a good time. He's eating. He's vulnerable, like a gazelle at a watering hole. <laughs> well, if you're gonna get me in trouble. You already got Junior on car wash duty. Your dad's not gonna punish you. You're his favorite. After Katie. Now get in there. Mm. Hi, Dad. Hey, baby. What's going on? Nothing. Mm -hmm. What's going on with you? Nothing. So funny. <laughs> oh, nothing. It was just this episode of the Flintstones. It was the one where Fred forgot their anniversary, and Wilma hit him in the head with this big brontosaurus bone. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever see that one? No. <laughs> oh, but I did see the one where Fred had this evil twin, and he was walking around going, Yabba, dabba, do. 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 Dad, will you shut up? Shut up? This is the second time today you told me to shut up. You know what? You're grounded Saturday, miss. I'm grounded? That's not fair. Mm -hmm. Why am I grounded? This is one of those great moments in parenting. Okay, now, I want you to look at my face and see how happy I am as I respond to your answer. Okay? I want you to watch this eye in particular, what it does. Okay, ask me again. Why am I grounded? Because I said so. You see, I rolled up on you. Hey, 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 what did you find out? I found out that I'm grounded Saturday thanks to you. <laughs> so, you know, Saturday's a special day for Daddy and me, right? I know. You know? What do you know? I heard Dad talk about stuff. You did? Come here, baby. Come here. Sit next to Mom. What, what did Daddy say? Well, he said he was going to have to call the straps. I'm going to have a party. <laughs> I'm going to have a party. <laughs> hey, no, really. What else? He got a driver. I'm going to get a limo, too? But he said he was going to have to stick it in the same old bag. <laughs> oh, no. He, he means he's playing golf. Come here, come here. Listen to me. I need for you to go downstairs and talk to your father and see what he's planning on Saturday evening, okay? Okay, I'll see you at Key Digger. That's my girl right there. Oh, Katie, be inconspicuous. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, baby. Daddy, Mommy wants to know what you're planning for Saturday. Golf. What about Saturday night? Saturday night. Oh, 
The fight is on Saturday night. Okay. Daddy. Hmm. That's inconspicuous. Inconspicuous? Uh-huh. It's everything you're not. <laughs> Saturday night? That's what I said. Oh, this won't be a fight, all right. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> it's Bronx Week, and next time on My Wife and Kids. Oh, Claire, your daddy is something else. Girl, he really had me gone for a while, then he sent me these. <laughs> Love, Tony. Tony? Oh, my God, they're for me. What? You forgot what today is the most important day of our lives, and you want to go play. Oh, that's no good. Janet Marie, will you marry me tonight for our anniversary? Yes. Oh, my God. Tell me that is not Brian McKnight. That's not Brian McKnight. Yes, it is, Junior. Then why did you just tell me to tell Shut you? Shut up, boy, and get me to the altar. <sighs>